multi-marked man. What up, DTMB Squid here, doing another one of the little coaching series, bringing you some uh, team objective gameplay. Uh, you guys have been asking for it, so I told you I'd give it. Uh, playing as Chloe, yes, I'm using a little uh, Indian headdress. Uh, I like it. I don't really care what it does. I don't remember what the stats are for it. Right here, throwing a nade. I don't know what this guy's doing. I said I was going to throw this nade. Guy's a moron. Doesn't pay attention. Not my problem. Uh, I usually do that because it's a lot harder to get shots off. I try to stunt those power weapons as much as possible. If, if you don't know what stunting means, I explained it in the last commentary. Uh, coming up here to the top of the hill, obviously you can see we've got a bunch of friends up here, a bunch of teammates. This match was kind of a headache because the people I was playing with were just moronic at times. And you know, you got to do what you got to do, and sometimes it's just difficult. Um, starting off with the foul, I, didn't <coughs> I don't really think I enjoyed it too much here at the beginning. I was like, you know, I'm just going to switch over. I, I believe I went straight to the M9 right after this. A uh, little stench with the AK and so on and so forth. But for the most part, you know, just trying to stunt that hill as much as possible. Throwing those nades up there, crossing it, doing everything I can to get that, uh, you know, in there. And now i got to come up here and this douche sees me. I'm helping him cap the room. We're shooting this guy. You know, okay, so when I take the kill for him, and he's like, Oh, remember that time when you naded me? Oh, I'm going to shoot you. Ha, 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 ha. Good job, dumbass. Way to go. You're cool. God, I, that's that's the problem with Team Objective. You get into a pub, don't expect, if you're by yourself expect, especially, don't expect to win. Uh, just play your best, play your heart out, you know, make yourself better. You probably won't win most of the time because people you play with are absolute imbeciles. But that just, that just tends to happen. You got to do what you got to do and uh, make the best of it. I don't know why I couldn't pick up the nade there. I don't know why I even try to pick up nades. That's just, it's like a lost cause. I should just give up on that, but... um. Anyways, still uh, still just kind of trucking through, doing what I can. You know, it's situational. I try to get some shots across here. This guy kind of gets me on a break because I have that stupid, got to reload after every shot that I make. It's such a bad habit. Don't ever get in that habit. It comes from Rainbow Six. It's just a subconscious thing. I've been doing it for like seven to ten years. It's really bad. <laughs> I still can't get rid of it. But uh, just running with the Jade M9. Uh, not so much on the on the basis of just blind firing and stuff like that, but I try to keep my distance from most of the people. What I try to do is work, because I'm using Cloaked, I believe, at this moment, and I'm trying to work the ability to stay behind people and help my teammates out. That's why I'm playing the way I am. You know, obviously, we're, we're doing pretty well in the, in the hill. I try to jump in and stunt the hill a couple times, but my teammates don't good, do a good job of fending themselves or defending themselves against, you know, a rush from the opposing team. Now the problem with that is, this guy thinks he's got me good, but I, that guy really got annoying in the game as he was like, I'm awesome, but not really. I mean, that's, pro that's what I assume he sounds like. I'm awesome. Just like that. Exact noise. Anyways, um, I, I'm playing a little bit different than I do most of the time because I realized that I wasn't going to be able to do this by myself. I was just going to have to let them kind of run in and try to do their best um, at you know, stunning the hill, or picking up the hill, or getting the package, or turf, uh, capturing the turf areas, you know, whatever it may have been, uh, for the most part, that's just what I was trying to accomplish, so I was like, look, if I can kill enough people, and if I can get enough people off their back, maybe, just maybe, they're able to do this, it was like, we started off real well, we were up like, I think by 30, 40 points at one point, and now we're down by 70, you know, it's just a perfect example of, People who are either going for kills or going for cer certain situations. You know, there's a difference between just like killing people. Like the guy back there, I might as well take care of him and get rid of him because you never know he could pop up behind somebody, kill us. He could stunt the hill while we're trying to capture it. You don't know. So just take out what's in your way. Don't go out of your way. Just go straight for that object objective. Once you get there, you know, maybe you could do a better job of, you know, capturing that point. One thing that bugs the living crap out of me about this game is the, you know, the collision body collision between you and a person it's so freaking annoying nothing is more aggravating than trying to you know come around a corner and you get stuck on some schmuck's body that's just a complaint of mine i've always hated that about this game i just think it's absolute imbecilic i don't know why i'm using that word today but it's ridiculous you know there's nothing you could do there rpg you get hit in the face go to that guy for picking it up stunting us from trying to get that that um capture point but 
I mean, for the most part, the other team, I don't know if they were in a party or what, or just had smarter players. Uh, it, it tends to happen a lot of times. You get stuck with the dopes, unless you're playing with your friends. Um, there's not a whole lot you can do. In this situation, and I'm just trying to keep this guy out of this hill. I mean, rushing in, I have no idea who else is there. Um, obviously, it was just him. I got him out. This guy's up here with the mag. I'm getting shot from the side. And, of course, he's got quick boom. And there's nothing I could do about that. He's a douche in his own right. Um, it is what it is. As you can see, I did go back to no kickbacks. Um, I just I felt bad using them. Uh, I felt like a scumbag. So I went back to not using them. Uh, he got like five people jumping up for that one capture point. It's ridiculous. It's like people. It's a like I like I said before. It's a herd mentality. It's like everybody just has to do what the other person's doing. They just see them like oh, I gotta do that toe, and it's just. It's it's not conducive to doing well on this. I mean, granted, this is pubs, and people have their own prerogatives, and they do what they want to do. Like, if you ever get into a pub and assume people are going to play the way that you want them to play, you might as well just quit playing that game at that moment, because it's not going to happen. It's it's not worth getting yourself worked up about that, and you're just going to get pissed off and irritated um, to no avail, if you will. Uh, same situation. Um, teammates, I, I don't I don't know what exactly was going on or what they were doing like I, I just couldn't get any support you know this the guy under my right I can't remember his name he had the D Daskro or just whatever his name was he did a good job or Dark Wu or whatever his name was uh, I could count on him in certain situations but it's just like if it's two against five when the other three players on your team are just like what am I doing you know you're not gonna you can't expect much from that uh, I tried to stay away I tried to coax this guy into using his hammer Unfortunately, I got too far out, and then I got knocked forward. I tried to roll back, I mean, rolled back into the shot. Didn't matter. The other guy put some shots down on me, and I didn't have much of a chance to get out of it anyways. Uh, but team objective, especially if you're playing by yourself, look, if you're a good slayer, slay. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. If you know you can put people down, if you know you can, you know, get the shots that are, that are needed to take care of the situation, then do it. Don't, don't let somebody else or have somebody else tell you what you need to do. Because that's ludicrous. I'm chasing around. I knew this guy had the shotgun. I was like, crap. I have no nade. There's nothing I can do. He's like, oh, I'm the best with a shotgun. You all right? All right. We'll see. We'll see later, bro. Anyways, um, big thing. You know, it's just you got to play to your strengths. That's what you got to do in this. There's not all this kookamani, cockamani, ridiculous, like, oh, well, Hey, we're going to teach you how to do something that everybody freaking does. You know, that's not how you get better at this game. How you get better at this game is understanding your role. Understanding what you're supposed to be doing, in a, you know, in relation to your teammates and what they're doing. It's just, I mean, you can't practice it as much in pubs, but you can practice on making yourself a better player. Because, I mean, you don't know these people. You don't know them from Madden. You know, and it's one of those things where you got to do what you got to do to uh, to improve yourself. And this is an opportunity. And if people get butt hurt because you don't play the way they want you to, then tell them to suck it. And this guy's using quick boom again. Can't shoot me. Just got to throw nades at me. That's cool. Whatever. Um, just just play to your strengths. If you are a very if you're a very intelligent player or you like to play mind games with people, stay with that. You know, run with cloaked. Try to get in and out and weave in and out of, you know, the situations and do your best to be a, you know, a support player, so to speak. I mean, that's really what you're getting at. Um, I, I switched to Gmail for just a brief second because I was like, you know what, I can stand up here for a while, get a couple shots, but unfortunately they got down there and got the treasure. Uh, you can't, I don't know why it's not showing up. By the way, this is not a cinema glitch. A lot of this lag, it's just that laggy. It was a really laggy game. I don't know if everybody was foreign or not. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, just gotta get the job done. But uh, so I come in. I try to pick up the treasure real fast, and I'm gonna like you know I'm gonna hide in this corner. I'm gonna let somebody try to come in and get me. But my teammate wasn't paying attention very well, and unfortunately, I didn't last very long. Got it. But. He picked it up, and uh, we're scoring some more points here. I believe we ended up winning this round. And uh, there's good old Apollo Lagface Stark uh, once again. See, I don't understand that. The, I shot the guy like 10 minutes ago, and then he dies. That happened like multiple times. I don't really know what this guy was trying to accomplish. Um, and I don't know why it took me so long to kill him, or it took so long to register that kill. But it did. It is what it is. Not worried about dying. It's team objective. 
got to do what you got to do to help win. Unfortunately, at this point, you know, we're we're lagging behind. But anyways, back to the original point. Play your strengths. Play what you're good at. Don't let anybody else tell you not to play that way. Because if you do, then you're just hurting yourself in the long run. You're doing nothing nothing of, of a favor for yourself. So focus on those things. And you got to realize, like, you may have really good buddies that are people that are, like, you know, you're really good friends with them, but you may not be the best fit as a team. That just happens sometimes. I have plenty of friends that I've played games with in the past, and I've tried to coach them up, I've tried to build them into something, and he just can't. There's nothing you can do about that. It just doesn't work. It's all about chemistry and how you work with that other team. You know, there's a reason why I think, you know, Barry Haynes is a dingbat, and I give him a hard time all the time, and, you know, we're not focused on certain situations, but we have good chemistry. We play well together, especially in elimination. You know, even though that's not really competitive mode in this regards, or in these regards, in terms of what I'm relating it to. I mean, but I love elimination. That's another topic for another time. Um, but it's, you just got to realize who you play with. And you know, this is another, you know, this is another example of the people I was playing with just wasn't. We weren't a good fit for one another. But then again, they weren't really paying attention very much, and their sole focus was horse blinders. But it is what it is. You know, that's just, that's how you have to accomplish it. There's there's not a whole lot of other ways around it. Try to throw that nade in there. I don't know how that didn't kill that guy. But, you know, got to do what you got to do. Picked up my beautiful, wonderful shotgun. I'm like, you know what? All right, we're going to play this game. We're going to play the um, you come here game. You know, we didn't have a chance uh, to score any more points, but thankfully we won that. And this guy's like, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him with that nade. He's gonna, he's gonna feel it. Now we're gonna play the worst game mode in the world. But hey, buddy, has a shotgun to your face. Oh, and what, what's this, Mr. Shotgun himself? Oh, take a seat before you can use your kickback. Thank you very much. Uh, but it's one of those things where Mark Man is the worst. Look, I'd rather play Team Deathmatch two rounds than playing Mark Man. I mean, this is a cockamamie team leader. You know, team leader is a, a game mode that was in Ve uh, Rainbow Six. Uh, I think it showed up multiple times in different versions, but the last version was Team team Leader on Rainbow Six Vegas 1 and 2. And the purpose was, you know, obviously you got one person who's the, you know, the leader, and then the rest of you who, your goal is to protect them. And, but Mark Man is like, hey, you want to be Mark Man? Like, how about... In just a second, this guy's going to die. And, hey, you're Marked Man! Oh, that's wonderful. You're in the middle of a firefight. You're Marked Man. Not the guy over in the corner. Oh, and look, there's a guy behind me. Wonderful. Thank you so much for this wonderful game mode with its awesome ability to not be good. Uh, I just, I don't like Marked Man. I think it's a stupid game mode. There's other things they could put in here. Like, just get rid of it and just put Chain Reaction. I'd rather play that anyways. At least that takes some skill. At least it takes some teamwork. This is just like, hey, don't die. Oh, okay. In this game, especially in a pub, good luck. You know, who knows who has an RPG or Quick Boom or whatever hidden up their butt. But it's just one of these situations. Like when I'm when I'm the marked man, which is 90% of the time, um, my big focus is like I just try to keep. I try to stay, I guess, use angles between where my team is at and where I think they're gonna spawn. Uh, there's certain situations in certain areas that I try to stay away from, but. Uh, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do in all those situations. I mean, you have to think about where you're going and what you're doing. My aim was pretty bad right there. It took me way too long to kill that dude. It didn't matter. Still marked, man. I don't know what is wrong with this ridiculous game mode. But you just if you're marked, look, just do your best to, s to keep yourself between your teammates. Keep yourself a good distance between your teammates and the other team. Because it's like this subconscious, like, oh, i got to stay around my team all the time. Well, sometimes the problem with that is... Your teammates don't do jack, and you're just a giant target, you know. And well, in this situation, my teammates were doing a whole lot either. They were just chasing that guy. I mean, now that's kind of how you got to do it. End of the day, like, look, you, you only have so many lives. You might as well just go chase the other guy. If your teammates are there, go after him. Don't go hide in a corner, and expect them to protect you, you know. If but if you're if you're all together in one area and you're attacking the other marked man, just do it. Don't worry about it. Don't make a, you know, don't make a situation of it. But. You just gotta you gotta work the situations that best fit you as an individual and you as a team. So if you're, well, I'll get another I'll get another commentary up. But we end up losing this match. I mean, obviously, I mean, we, even if we do win this one, we're gonna we're gonna suck at TDM because the people I'm playing with, you know, just don't know what they're doing.
but I'll get another match another time where I'm playing with people I know very well and we'll play maybe we'll play a scrim or something against some other competent people and I'll show you like how those team situations work the best and how they incorporate because it doesn't matter what stupid gimmick you do in the game it doesn't matter that's not gonna make you a better player overall I mean, it's gonna make you an individual but this is a team game this is a game where you focus on team and making yourself an individual, like, you know, if you want to play Call of Duty, then if you want to keep associating this game to Call of Duty, well, that's how you're going to do it, is playing as an individual. If you play as a team, you know, more people need to make videos on how to play as a team, not of, hey, if you do this in this situation, it's going to make you a good player in a pub match. It's like, okay, well, what are you learning from that? Nothing. Nothing constructive. Learn how to play as a team. You know, this is just a step. You know, I'm going to keep doing these videos so it'll help people realize, like, hey, I can do that. I'm good at those things. If I incorporate that with my team and the people I play with, maybe I can get better with them, or maybe I can find people that fit my playstyle the best. Heisman in your face, punk. Anyways, um, big thing. That's that's my favorite taunt now. I love the Heisman. Also because it slightly sounds like my last name. But as you can see, I go 40 and 20, and it doesn't matter. I'm doing everything I can to keep those guys off my teammates. But in the day, it is what it is. So this is Squid. Coach him up. See you guys later. Peace.